And I'm in an AMG 63S right now. My down payment for this AMG 60, GLE 63S was so the monthly payment. This car is my most expensive car monthly. GLE 63S, I pay smash the ass removed. It's your boy Mac Moolah, aka Mr. Moolah Mac, and I'm back with another video. As y'all can see, we are in the 63S. This is my favorite car, my most expensive car. Let me, let me put the pull the goddamn sun back so I get some more lighting in there, motherfucker. But yeah, that's my favorite car, my most expensive car, and my only SUV at the moment. You know what I'm saying? So if anybody doesn't know exactly what the 63S is, it's a GLE and a Mercedes-Benz GLE 63S. So they do have other um, S versions of this car, but this is the GLE version. So this is the SUV coupe version, right? Um, if you don't, you've probably seen this Benz truck. Rappers have it. Uh, YouTubers have it. Um, and then you might see it regularly driving around GLE 53. This is the big dog version. This is the race version. This is the skirt skirt version, okay? You know what I am? It's that version. It's that version. So yeah, in this video, I'm gonna be giving y'all all the information that I gave y'all in the Hellcat video. If y'all wanna see how much it costs me per month to have my Hellcat video, make sure you guys go. It's probably like two or three videos ago. It's at about 30,000 uh, views right now. So make sure y'all go tap into that video. I gave you how much I pay per month, how much uh, I put as a down payment, and I gave you a little bit more background information. Now, before I tell y'all how much I pay for this car, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna clear up some things that people had questions about. Number one, people said, why wouldn't you just buy the car cash? First reason, buying a car cash is fucking stupid. The car is going to depreciate as soon as I drive off the lot. So there's no reason for me to drop a hundred and something thousand or 70 some thousand or however much the car costs. It makes no fucking sense for me to go ahead and purchase the car flat out when I can just put a $20,000 down payment, a 10000 however much the down payment is, I can just put a down payment on the car, pay every month, and use that same hundred some thousand dollars cash that I would have just gave to the dealership for a depreciating asset, meaning the work is going down, 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 down as we speak, right? Or I could take that same 100000 like I said, and use that to invest it and make more money. So by the time I'm done paying the car off or trading a car in or whatever I got going on, that hundred racks that made me four five hundred thousand versus just losing money every day. Makes no sense, right? That's the first thing I gotta clear up. The second thing I wanna clear up, people assume that I'm stupid, I guess. I don't know what it is. I guess when they see, a lot of times, especially older people, when they see a young black male doing shit that's money-wise, rich, millions of dollars, they, number one, they can't believe it. And number two, they only look at what I have on my neck, what I have on my wrist, what I drive, what my car is at, right? People come in talking about, oh, you're not a homeowner, you're not this, you're not that. Not that I have, I feel the need to explain myself, but I want to make sure that everybody who's genuinely coming to help to, to this video to help, for me to help you figure out your life and for you to help me, you figure out what it's going to take for you to get successful. I'm, that's the reason I'm explaining myself, okay? Number one, I was a million, I, w I had, I ain't gonna say a million, I had half a million dollars cash and I was still driving a Chevy fucking cruise, okay? I've had, I had a half a million cash fucking on my shit. Pissing me the fuck off, man. I had a half a million dollars around April of 2022, okay? And in March, I had about probably 450,000 cash. That's when I went and bought a $70,000 Mercedes-Benz GLC 300. No AMG, no race, no none of that shit. Just a nice car, nice SUV, orange seats, you know what I'm saying? I'll probably put a video on it so y'all can see it right here. So 
That's what was going on. Don't look at me and think I'm just this stupid ass nigga that got three cars and I'm just driving around and I'm just paying all this money. I've made six figures a month since December of 2021. I'm not no stupid ass nigga. I'm not no splurging ass nigga. I'm not no one of these rap niggas. I ain't no stupid nigga. I got millions of dollars in properties. I got millions of dollars in contracts, guaranteed money for the next five years. Real estate marketing. I've made hundreds of thousands of dollars this month off crypto. It's April 9th today. I've made hundreds of thousands of dollars this month in nine days off cryptocurrency. I trade stocks. I own a lot of shit. I have assets before I start buying cars. So don't think that I'm just on this bitch trying to be cool, trying to be groovy. These car payments is not hurting me at all. I can afford a Lamborghini. I can afford four Lamborghinis, a Ferrari, a Wraith, and that shit wouldn't hurt me. I can afford to pay $30,000, $40,000 a month just in car payments, and that shit would not hurt me. I would not change my lifestyle. It wouldn't change where I go, how often I eat. I wouldn't even have to think about that. So it's a lot lower than what a lot of motherfuckers think. And a lot of people comment, oh, you're not a homeowner. Oh, you need investments. Oh, you wasting your money. Oh, this, that, the third. Hey, bro, like, calm down, gang. I'm 25 years old with no kids. No, I'm not even married yet. I got a girlfriend, but I'm not even married yet, bro. I don't have no responsibilities other than me, myself, and I. I got two dogs and a girlfriend. Those are the only people in the world that I have to worry about day to day to day to day to day to day. And that's not that expensive, bro. So I'm sorry that I drive a nice, I want to drive a nice car. I'm sorry that I want to spend a few pennies to, base, to, to what I make. I want to spend a few pennies on, on a car. I have $100,000 watches, nigga. I got half a million some dollars in jewelry I can go sell and get cash for at all times. I got a fucking bracelet on that costs $10,000. This one little bracelet, $10,000. Gold, solid gold. I got solid gold bars. I got investments. I got stocks. I got bonds. I got trusts. I own businesses. I have so much recurring revenue that this shit is just fun for me. And I have three cars. I could shit on niggas if I wanted to, but I don't do that. If you can afford five Lamborghinis, get you one Benz. If you can afford 10 Ferraris, get you a Hellcat. Because when I'm 30, that's when I'm going to start shitting on niggas. That's when y'all really going to have a lot of shit to say then. Because when I'm 30 and all this shit is stacked up and I'm going to have me about 10 million, y'all going to see me in that Ferrari right there on Tuesday. I'm going to have Tuesday cars. I'm going to have I'm a garage. I'm going to have a 20, 30 car garage, nigga. That's when I'm going to start shitting on niggas. That's when I'm going to start acting a fucking fool. That's when y'all going to see me on jets acting a damn fool. And I know a lot of y'all watching this video don't know who I am, bro. If you want to know what I do for work, I do YouTube. I have half a million subscribers on my main channel. I have 200,000 subscribers on my second channel. I have 60,000 subscribers on my gaming channel. Right? I got 14,000 subscribers on this channel. I, I do real estate marketing. That's how I first came up and got my first... A um, few hundred thousand dollars was with real estate marketing, social media marketing. I'm investing into Airbnbs this year. I'm investing into, I'm investing in a lot of shit. I make money any type of way. If it's legal and it don't, comp, it don't compromise my morals, I'm with it. Point blank period. I own 20, almost 30 YouTube channels that I do not show my face on. I have ownership in YouTube channels. That ain't nothing but digital real estate. So before, before you get to comment and think motherfucker know what they talking about, listen and understand. I am the blueprint for young niggas doing this shit. I'm not trying to outcompete nobody. It's niggas with way more money than me that got way nicer cars than me. You think that make me feel bad about myself? When I know I got millions, people have millions of dollars in cars and don't even got a million dollars. At least I could buy all my cars cash, no problem, and keep it moving like ain't nothing happening. You get what I'm saying? So you gotta be mindful of that. Don't don't be tricked by these older people in the comments that make you think that your life is fucked up or you doing the wrong things. You know what I'm saying? Be like me, invest your money. You can fuck it off, you can enjoy your money, but you better be doing, if you gonna do this, what I'm doing right now, fucking off my money and having cars, you better be doing the other shit I'm doing. You better be investing. You better be saving. You better have stocks, you better have businesses. You better be stretching your money it to blow up 
all just get as much as possible versus just fucking it off so you can get a few holes or you can impress a few niggas that don't even know you. With all that being said, I'm in that AMG 63S right now. My down payment for this AMG 60, GLE 63S was $30,000. Now, I'm going to be 100% transparent, okay? They wanted, at the time, I already had a Mercedes Benz. I had a Mercedes GLC 300, and I had a Corvette C8. So, I, got, I bought that Corvette in October, and I bought this car August of next year. So, not even a year later, I bought another car. I got my, I'm gonna be 100% transparent. I let I asked my mom, which she had no problem with because she know my financial situation. I asked my mom to co-sign on this car for me to get a lower down payment. It's not because I didn't get approved by myself. It's just Mercedes Benz, I financed this car through Mercedes Benz, right? So Mercedes Benz, so the Benz dealership is asking, the Benz dealership is asking, why does this young man, I was 24 at the time, why does this young man need two cars like we don't want to necessarily give this young man this car even though he does make the money his credit is good we don't necessarily we're not too quick to give this car to a, this young man without a co-signer so they asked me do i have a co-signer and that brought my um my down payment down to i think like fifteen thousand. they wanted me to put like fifty thousand down i'm like no 45 50 000. i'm like not doing that shit you know what i'm saying so got my mom to sign a paper and it, it saved me fifteen thousand um, but the monthly payment was the same. So I spent $30,000 on the down payment for this AMG GLE 63S. This is a $160,000 car. This was brand new. I bought the car brand new. It had two miles on it, I want to say, before I bought, uh, before I got the car. So I'm the first and only owner. Right now, it's only 5,000 or 6,000 now. Literally just turned 6,000 miles on the dash. So I've had this car more than, I want to say, was it, has it been more than a year? Almost a year. And I only drove 6,000 miles. So that's another good thing about having multiple cars is that you don't run any of them into the ground because you have multiple of them. Just like having 100 pair of shoes. If you got two pair of shoes, them shoes ain't going to last that long. But if you got 100 pair of shoes and you wear one every other day, you know what I'm saying, you have now stretched your, your, um, your inventory to be more uh, beneficial for you, right? Because you're not gonna fuck up a hundred pair of shoes because you barely wear them. But if you got one or two pair of shoes you wear every single day, you're gonna fuck them up quick, right? So it's just like that same thing with cars. I can trade all my cars in, no problem, and get another car or just get my money back because I don't run my cars into the ground because I have three of them. So it's not like I'm driving one car every day, every place I go, you know what I'm saying? So boom. That was the um, the down payment. Now, for me personally, I got a lease on my car. So, and the reason, I, I'm gonna tell you the reason I did lease. A lot of people, because rapper, it's all because rappers and niggas on Instagram, they think they sound like they know what they talk about or they think they sound like they cool or they quote unquote having that shit or they rich as hell, whatever the case may be. Leasing a car is smart. I'll tell you why. Because it's a depreciating asset. So, me leasing this car, I'm going to tell you something. I ran over something and my tire got punctured. Uh, my exhaust, like somebody hit my exhaust, I'm pretty sure, when I was parked. And that kind of like fucked up my uh, exhaust. It's kind of like hanging off right now. I don't have to pay for that. Anything that's ever happened to this car, I've took it to the service at Mercedes-Benz. And I've got it uh, completely fixed. A car wash. Everything fixed. No problems, no questions asked for free. I have not spent a dollar on this car other than my monthly payment. Now, the second the second beneficial thing with a lease is that um, you don't have to worry about this car depreciating. So if anybody has ever bought a car, financed the car, and tried to trade it in or sell it, that's a big-ass headache, right? That's a big ass headache because a lot of times you are you still owe more on the car than it's worth, and then you have to pay to sell your. You have to pay. Imagine having to pay to sell a car. You have to pay more. You have to give them more money just to trade the car in, and then pay for your new car. It's just stupid. So I avoided all that when I did the lease, right? So as soon as the lease is over with, I can either re-sign my lease or I can give this car back. No questions asked, right? I don't have to worry about trading it in. I don't have to worry about none of that shit. 
and I can lease another car, right? Uh, and it will be a lot cheaper through the Mercedes-Benz uh, system because I've already been a loyal customer to them. I've already had two cars under the Mercedes-Benz on my credit, and I've already never missed a payment. I'm always early on payments. I got my payments on auto pay. It's nothing. There's no reason for them to, um, if I wanted to get a G-Wagon, if I wanted to get the 2024 version of this car, if I wanted to get a GT version of this car, whatever it is I want to do, I can do that because I have established credit specifically with Mercedes-Benz Financial, so our relationship is good. Now, I'm going to go tell you guys about the monthly payment. So the monthly payment, this car is my most expensive car monthly. So my Hellcat, y'all see, if y'all want to see how much I pay for the Hellcat, y'all can go um, see how much I pay for that. GLE 63S, I pay, I'm going to put the exact amount on uh, on the screen. I'm not sure the exact amount off the top of my head because honestly, I don't see it. I don't miss it. It's on auto pay. It just comes out and I kind of go by my business. I don't look at it. I don't register. I don't, it doesn't matter. So I'm pretty sure it's about $2,200, give or take a few dollars maybe a hundred dollars off maybe a hundred dollars cheaper but it's about twenty two hundred dollars so my down payment was thirty thousand and my monthly payment is about two thousand right which is pretty fucking good if i do say so myself for a 24 year old at the time i'm 25 now i was 24 years old when i got the car uh for a 24 year old to pay two thousand dollars is nothing now people it's a waste of money it's this or the third you can think whatever you want to bro it's 12.36 and I've made $3,000 today, believe it or not, right? In the last 24 hours, I've made more than $3,000. So a $2,000 monthly payment does not hurt me. It's the same thing as your car. If you make, and I'm not trying to talk no shit because money don't make me better than nobody else. But if you make $50,000, if you make an average US salary and you spend $300 or $50 on your car payment let's say you spend fifty dollars a month on your car payment and you make fifty thousand a year it's no difference right you don't miss that fifty thousand fifty dollars i don't miss this two thousand dollars the money the percentage of money is pretty much the same thing right if i tell you i make millions of dollars a year and my car costs me twenty four thousand a year what the fuck is that right what is that like, 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 honestly, what is that? So, so in my, in the way I separate my money is I have an account specifically for bills. That's that account that I have specifically for. Let me, let me smash the ass real quick. bills and all my bills are on auto pay from my rent my car notes my insurance whatever it is that account alone just that one account has enough money to pay all my bills and and and, and upkeep my entire lifestyle i'm talking about haircuts insurance rent car note um anything that costs monthly right the the, the things that i have for business um Apple Music, right? All that shit. My entire lifestyle, my entire monthly lifestyle is in an account. That one account has enough money to pay for my lifestyle for the next five years. In one account. All my money together can pay for my lifestyle for the next 15 years. So when you look at it like that, is $2,000 a lot of money? Not even fucking close. On top of that... Guys, to, to really like drill that inside of your head because it's not like I'm just out here, fuck, and I don't want nobody to think that. Y'all see the exhaustion I'm talking about though? Like this shit hanging off. So I gotta wait for my appointment for my car, but this the big tonker right here on four now. This the big tonker with the orange slip. Don't play V8 by turbo. That means two um crazy man. You know what I'm saying? We got the orange lips. We got the orange accents. We got the mamba green wrap on it. 
We got the black hood. Don't play with that man. We got the black rims with the orange brakes that's dirty as hell, so you can't see the color. But it's okay though. They still orange on four now. This is how we doing it. And we fresh as hell out here. This is how we doing it. 